tis the year for blush. Almost dropped it. That would have been a catastrophe. A lot of powders do not like my skin, and my skin does not like them back. I don't know why they left off the herb. Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Ashley. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys all the products that I have been loving in the month of May. I'm sorry if there's a little bit of an echo in here. There's hardwood and no carpet, so I feel like I'm echoing a bit. I hope that's not too distracting. But yeah, I can't believe May is already over. I feel like this year is flying by, but I am so ready for summer. As I get older, summertime is just more and more appealing to me. I love being able to go outside, fresh air, swimming, sunshine, vitamins, D, it's just all good things. So I'm really excited. I don't have too, too many things to share, but the things that I do have are top-notch A plus products. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Leave a comment below letting me know which product you have been loving this month. And also don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy videos like this, beauty reviews, declutters, try-ons, first impressions, all that good stuff. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into my monthly favorites. Okay, so I actually have three blushes to talk about, so I'll just go ahead and get those out of the way because tis the year for blush, and who doesn't love a good blush? And they're actually, all of them are affordable, so double thumbs up for that. If you like a cream blush that dries down to a more powdery finish, which is gonna be especially useful in the warmer months when your skin's producing a little bit more oils and sweat. Try this from JCAT. This is their Blush Mallow, which is such a cute name. And I have mine in the shade Sweet and Chic. It's this gorgeous, really hot pink. But don't be afraid of the color. It looks super intense in the pan, but actually on the cheeks, it just shears out. Like it looks really intense here too. But once you apply it to the cheeks and shear it out, it really looks so natural. Like see how subtle and gorgeous that looks? It dries down almost instantly to more of a powdery finish. So if you're afraid to work with creams, if you've never really worked with cream products, or if you just don't like that greasy, sticky feel, try this because it's super easy. It's almost like a powder, but it feels bouncy like a marshmallow it kind of is reminiscent of the ColourPop super shocks if you've ever tried that formula really easy to work with it's never patchy you can build it up to get more of a punchy pigmented look or you can shear it out for something a bit more natural so love this i think it's under five dollars so such a steal amazing amazing formula i do wish they would expand the shade range a little bit but this shade if you love a pink blush is gorgeous next up i have this pure nude baked blush from essence this one is in the shade 05 pretty peach we all know and love the essence pure nude highlighter this is the highlighter that i'm wearing today you can see it just adds the most beautiful glass skin reflection it's just gorgeous there's a reason why it's been talked about for so many years on social media so they recently launched these baked blushes and the formula is a little bit different it has a bit more pearlescence i would say than the highlighter but i'm wearing it as my blush topper today on the cheeks and i feel like it just adds a little bit of life back to the skin it just takes your look to the next level it's not glittery it doesn't overly emphasize pores or texture like some more reflective blushes can do this looks pretty natural and it's such a a thin formula because it is baked that it just doesn't feel like you're adding a bunch of like heavy chalky powders onto your face it just melts right into the skin if you love a little bit more of a glowy blush try these out because they're super affordable and the formula feels very high-end last but not least for all you a matte blush lover girlies i have this one this is an older product but it's still a goodie this is from flower beauty this is their flower pots in the shade spiced petal so the reason why i have been reaching for and loving this blush is one because it is a powder it's a matte it's a little bit more long wearing i haven't been reaching for my cream blushes as much just because i have been outside more and powders just tend to be a bit more long wearing that's just the name of the game the way that it is but the reason why I've been specifically reaching for this powder is because of the shade. It is the most gorgeous bronzy summer blush without being a bronzer it still has a bit of rosiness to it but i feel like it's pretty neutral i can wear it with more warm tone looks i can wear it with more cool tone looks it's pretty versatile and i just feel like it adds the right amount of color just a kiss of blushy warmth to the cheeks without being overpowering and again it's super long wearing very buildable very creamy very smooth very easy to blend it's just a really great formula and i had to give it a shout out a bronzer that I've been loving is from Pacifica. This is their Sun Dreams Bronze. I don't know why they left off the herb, 
Like it's just Sun Dreams bronze. No er. They forgot the er. They just said forget it. We're just going bronze. So it's their bronze. And it comes in this really huge pot. It's a glass container, so it feels very luxe and high end. Pacifica is clean er beauty brand. It's sold at Target and Ulta. It's more affordable, but definitely not like the most affordable. But I do appreciate that a lot of their ingredients are more thoughtfully selected and tend to be more suitable for sensitive skin. And I do like a lot of the products that I try from Pacifica. Pacifica. So I picked this up on a whim sort of a while ago. I just haven't really been reaching for it because the shade, as you can see, is a lot warmer. It just wasn't to my taste for the winter months, but because it has been warmer and I've been sort of wanting a little bit more of a sun-kissed look, I've been reaching for this and I do love this formula. It just looks so sun-kissed on my complexion, my skin tone personally. This also is that cream to powder formula, so it does dry down and it's just so thin and lightweight. I love the way it feels on my skin. It's not heavy. It blends out really easily and I love the amount of product you get in here. It's a bit more on the pricey side but you get so much product like you're never gonna go through all of this I don't know if everyone is gonna love this because it almost feels grainy the texture but don't let that scare you off because once you start blending it into the skin those grains sort of disappear or emulsify dissolve and it is very smooth there's no grainy texture on your skin when you're done blending it but in the pot you will feel that so I don't think everyone's gonna love it but if you love a more warm been out on the beach bronze you want to try a more clean beauty product product and you want something that's really going to give you a bang for your buck, try this one. I do love it. And I did see that Tati recently mentioned this in one of her underrated drugstore videos as well. So I was like, me and Tati, we're just, you know, we're on the same wavelength. Yes, Tati, I love that too. So had to give it a shout out. Okay, so I recently did a full face of NYX Cosmetics on my channel. I will link it if you haven't seen it. It was so much fun because I love so many products from NYX. But to complete that full face, I needed to pick up a face powder. And I really wanted to try this Can't Stop, Won't Stop pressed powder. I have mine in the shade Light. I feel like I could have gone for the shade Light Medium as well. But I am obsessed with this powder. It's gotten a lot of really great reviews. A lot of people love it. And I can see why. Because it is very mattifying, very blurring, but also very very velvety and smooth. It doesn't look dry or cakey on the skin. And I'm a very harsh critic of powders because I have dry skin and a lot of powders do not like my skin and my skin does not like them back. So this one is one of the few that I can say is dry skin approved, especially for these hotter months. Keeps your skin mattified, but not too flat or chalky. It's very smooth, very creamy. This is very reminiscent to the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Powder, but I actually prefer this one, I think, to the Charlotte Tilbury powder. I know, hot take. I don't know if everyone's gonna think that, but personally, I like this one better. Check it out if you haven't. It is a serious gem at the drugstore. Oh, almost dropped it. That would have been a catastrophe. Whew. Save it. Another favorite from NYX is this Epic Smoke Liner, specifically in the shade Nude Haze. This is a really interesting product. It is a an eyeliner, but it's meant to be used to smoke out an eyeshadow look. It's specifically formulated for smudging and smoking. So I love this eyeliner as a base for my eyeshadow looks. It comes with this triangular sort of tip, but the formula of this is so creamy. It just glides right on, and it comes with this little artiste brush on the end, which you can use to smudge or you can use any brush that you're comfortable with and it just blends out so effortlessly it's so smooth and creamy on the eye area which is more delicate i find that a lot of eyeliners are actually a bit more dry and can kind of tug and pull on my eyes and be a little bit uncomfortable especially if you go to blend them out and they're a little bit drier you have to work a little bit harder it's not comfy it's, it's not the mood so i love that this one is so easy to smudge with such little pressure and effort it stays in place really well. I love to just start my eyeshadow with this. I will smudge a little bit on the outer corner and into the crease to create that like outer V lifted look. And then I will layer a powder brown or whatever color I want over top of it. And I find that it just helped me to more precisely create the shape that I want. It makes my powder eyeshadows last a little bit longer and it shows up a little bit better in photography as well because it is a cream. So it's more opaque than a powder shadow would be by itself. Definitely love these. I want to pick up more shades like a gray, a mauve, a black. I just feel like they're super versatile and I hope that more people would talk about these because I do not ever want NYX to discontinue this product because it is literally one of my favorite eyeliners ever of all time. 
This product is a little bit more of an honorable mention because I may have mentioned this in a different monthly favorites video, but since it's NYX and I just talked about two NYX products, I wanted to give it a shout out here and I have been using it like crazy. This is the NYX Plump Right Back with Electrolytes Plumping Serum Primer. I love this because it's very similar to the Milk Hydro Grip, the ELF, I always forget the name of it, the Gripping Primer, but this one is a little bit less sticky. It feels more comfortable, a little bit easier to blend on the skin in my opinion, and it's a little bit more hydrating. So if you found the e.l.f. or the milk to be too sticky for your liking or not hydrating enough, try this one out because it still does give you that nice tacky finish that really grips onto your foundation and makes it last longer in my opinion, but it's also very hydrating as well. It's so good. It's one of my favorite primers I think ever. Had to give it a shout out because I do think I've mentioned it before, but I've just been using it so much that it felt not right not to mention it. <laughs> so for the eye area, I have been obsessed with this MAC matte eyeshadow. It's just a single eyeshadow in the shade Omega. It doesn't look like much in the pan. It actually looks pretty boring, but I'm telling you, this is the perfect transition crease shade. If you are anywhere near my complexion, it is a taupe, but it's not too ashy. It's not too gray. It has a little bit of an oliviness to it. So if you have more of an olivey undertone, this is amazing. It looks so natural in the crease because it gives you like that shadowed appearance. I actually picked this up per the recommendation of Allie Glines here on YouTube, who I believe also picked it up per the recommendation of Nikki Makeup on Instagram, a professional makeup artist. And I can see why both of them love it because it's so versatile. You can literally use it for everything and it looks really natural. It blends out like a dream. It's just so good. If you're looking for the perfect transition shade that you can just pop it in your crease and then put like a glitter shadow on top, it's the easiest eye look ever. Check this out because it's really, really good. I wanted to give my Maybelline Sky High mascara, the waterproof one, a shout out because literally this mascara holds my curl like no other. I've tried millions of mascaras, waterproof, non-waterproof, tubing, you name it, everything under the sun. And the waterproof Maybelline Sky High, if you have straight lashes that want to point down like me, like my lashes, this will keep them curled. They will keep the curl because I find a lot of times my lashes just don't want to hold a curl. And this one, somehow, I don't know what magic it is, but it does keep the curl. It lengthens them. It separates them. It doesn't get too clumpy, but you can build them up if you add two or three coats to get a little bit more volume. It's amazing. It doesn't flake or smudge. Love this mascara. Another sort of surprising favorite is this Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I picked this up during the Ulta like spring savings event, their haul, like where everything is 50% off or like the select products are 50% off. This one was 50% off and I'm always needing more brow gel. So I figured why not give this a shot because at the 50% off price point, it's around the same price as a drugstore brow gel. So I wanted to see if this one was good and I do really enjoy this one. The brush is a bit bigger, but I don't find that to be like cumbersome or bothersome because it is a clear brow gel. So it's not like you're getting pigmented tinted brow gel all over your face. It's strong enough to where it keeps your brows in place, but it's not anything that you can feel. It's not uncomfortable. It's not super sticky. It's just a really good clear standard brow gel. It reminds me a lot of the Benefit 24 hour brow setter or my Milani clear brow gel. That one's a good alternative at the drugstore. But if you can get this one on sale, I would recommend it because you get a good amount of product. And I just think it's really easy to use and you don't have to think too hard about it. Last but not least in the makeup category are these lashes, which you cannot see because the box is empty, but they're the lashes that I'm wearing today. And I'll pop a picture of them so you can see the style. They are the Kiss So Wispy Lashes in the style number 11. I love these because first of all, I don't have have to trim them. They're the perfect shape for my eyes. I feel like they really amp up any glamorous look, but they're still natural enough in my opinion to wear on an everyday basis. And I don't feel like I have birds on my eyes. Sometimes when I put on false lashes, I just feel like since my eyes are already a little bigger, it just overpowers my face. And I literally look like just eyeballs <laughs> or just like a bug or a bird. Like I'm going to flap away and fly away. So I like false lashes because I do feel like some eye looks call for them, but I want them to be 
still natural, but also still worth taking the time to apply. These are really easy to apply. The band is nice and thin and flexible. You can rewear them if you just use a little bit of rubbing alcohol to take the glue off at the end of the night. They feel featherweight on the eyes. I literally forget that I'm wearing them because they're so lightweight, so comfy, and I just love the style. They're very pretty and have that tapered end, so they don't overpower the center or the middle of your eye if you have more hooded eyes. This will not cover up all of that lid space. It really just focuses most of the volume in the length on the outer corner to give you that lifted, more full effect. So love this style and they're very affordable as well. And again, you can reuse them. So definitely get your money's worth out of that. The last two products I don't have with me right now, they're in my bathroom, but I will pop pictures up for you. The first is a sunscreen from Solara, Solera. It is their gel sport mineral sunscreen. I love this sunscreen. A lot of the sunscreens that I like or that I have are more glowy. I also really love the, the e.l.f. Well Glow. I mentioned this in last month or the month before. I love this one for a very glowy SPF, but there are days when I'm wearing something more luminous on the base, like for my foundation. So I don't want a super glowy primer or SPF and then a super glowy base because again, I'm sweating a little bit more and I just feel like it's a little bit too much, too much glow. So the great thing about this Solara sunscreen is that one, it dries down pretty quickly. It feels so thin and lightweight. It's not greasy at all. And it has more of a natural matte finish. So if you have more oily skin or if you just don't like glowy sunscreens, check that one out because it doesn't give you a big white cast. It's very lightweight. It's not greasy. It literally feels like you're just applying a moisturizer that sort of dries down. So love that sunscreen. It will be a go-to over the summer months. I think you can get it at Target. And then the last skincare product, sun care thing that I wanted to mention is the Tanologist Hydrating Gradual Tanner. So I picked this up on Drugstore Maven or Taylor Margaret, I think her name is. Her recommendation, she was raving about this product. And I was like, mm, let me just try it because I do self tan occasionally. But honestly, as a mom, self tanning can be a little bit burdensome because I don't know, it just takes a lot of time. You gotta scrub it off, you gotta exfoliate, you have to get the mid out. It's just, it's just the whole thing, right? And I do like to do it if I'm going on vacation or in the summer months when I'm wearing, you know, short and whatever but I figured if I can have something that's gonna give me that tanned look in a lotion then I'm all for it because it just cuts down on my self-care prepping time because in all reality I'm already applying a lotion all over my body on the daily anyway like after I get out of the shower or the bath I'm always applying a lotion so if my lotion is helping to bronze up my skin and add a little bit of color then it's like a win-win right so this product it's not gonna be as dramatic as a self tanner you're not going to see results on the first application it's going to take you like three or four days to really start seeing a bit of a color but i'm telling you it does work i have noticed a difference it smells really great it's really lightweight if you have ultra dry skin i would recommend going in with another moisturizer just because it's more lightweight it's not going to give you all the hydration that you need if you do have very dry skin but i just love it it smells like a dream it gives me the perfect amount of tan and i don't feel like i need to go in with a self tanner if i wanted to be extra extra bronzed I could but I feel like just for the everyday standard summer me I'm happy with this amount of tan I have mine in the shade medium dark and again it's just so easy I'm already applying a lotion anyway so if you already apply a lotion and you want a little bit of a tan and bronze without the sun damage try this one out because it's really good it's not streaky it's not patchy it's not uncomfortable it's not itchy on me personally the only thing I will say is that after you apply it make sure that you wash your hands because if you don't you will get a little bit of a like staining I guess not really staining but you can just get a bit of tan maybe in on your palms or in areas that you don't want it so yeah that's the only thing but I love it and I wanted to give it a shout out because I think it's a really great product oh and the color that it turns is not orangey at all it's very natural it's sort of a more neutral bronze color so love that Okay, and I think that is it. Those are all the products that I have been loving in the month of May. I'm so excited to move into the summer. Let me know in the comments down below what you are most excited for for the summertime, what product you have been loving this past month. I love chatting with you guys. I feel like you guys are all my besties. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.